Hey guys, Bill here, and in this video, we're going to talk about opening range breakouts. Opening range breakouts are similar to inside bars in their execution. So instead of marking the previous day's high and low as our column put triggers, we're going to be marketing, marking the opening range high and low. And for me, the opening range is the first 15 minutes of the day. Now, there's some people that use maybe 30 minutes or different times like that, but I find 15 to be the best. Um, and this play, uh, this setup is really useful, especially on days where there's gaps, because like we've seen with inside bars, sometimes you, you know, you set them up and then we get a gap up or down and it's way past your call or put trigger. And sometimes you get a retest and you can play off that. But other times, you know, you're kind of just feeling like maybe you're chasing because it's already made such a big move up or a big move down. Um, and it can be a little frustrating. So opening range plays are a great way to, um, you know, approach the trade in a similar way as the inside bar where we're looking for a breakout of key levels, um, but they can be used on any day, no matter if there's gaps or not, uh, especially useful if there are gaps. So here on SPY 9.9, um, nine, nine, you'll see that we got a big gap up and I'm going to show you kind of how we would play this. OK, so what you're going to do is you're going to mark the high and low of the first 15 minutes. All right. I'm on the five minute chart here, so that's going to be the first three candles. So we're going to mark the high and low of this first 15 minute range. And what we're going to be looking for, um, I like to just use a five minute close on the outside of this range. Now, you can go up higher in time frame, 10 minute, 15 minute. Obviously, if you use the 15, you're not going to get faked out as much, but you also might miss a move um, if you use the five you could get faked out more, but you're more likely to catch most of the move. It's really up to you. I, you know, it, it works every way. It's going to kind of just come down to maybe your, you know, personality and what's best for you. Try, try it a couple different ways and see what you like the most. Uh, but we'll see right here. First 15 minutes high and low. We got about 10 more minutes go by. And then finally, we get a close over the opening range high. Five minute candle. We enter here and look. It's a, you know, it's it, it pulls back and, and, and it, it makes some nice moves up, but it never even comes back to retest this. Similar to the inside bar, our stop would be a close, five minute close back under the opening range high. So on this day, you could ride it all day. All right. And kind of like I talked about the inside bar videos, you can use the EMAs if you want to. So maybe you got in here and you took most of your profits and then you decided, hey, we lose the nine here or we lose the 20 here, I'm going to get out. But if you really wanted to play it the way it's intended to be played, where you're not going to get out until it closes back down here, then you could have played it all day for pretty big gains, uh, you know, about a $4 move up from your entry. All right, next day on SPY. Let's try this again. All right, so we get another gap up. And we mark the high and low the first 15 minutes five minute close on this candle and boom nice about a two dollar move up right there and doesn't uh you know knock you out of the trade till here but you can use those emas if you want you can get out when you lose the nine you can get out when you lose the 20 it's really up to you you can just i like to as soon as i scale so maybe if you know if i entered here i'd probably be scaling here definitely here i'd be setting some type of stop loss either at break even or maybe at you know 10 or 20 percent depending on where we're at up here we're probably up about 30 40 percent here um, but that way you can protect your gains and if you don't like to do that you can use the emas um, but then also you'll notice how well these levels are respected throughout the day okay so um the first pullback we bounce perfectly off the opening range low for another nice trade. And, and just kind of like with inside bars, you can use these levels for different things. Like you don't just have to play the opening range low as a breakdown for puts. You can use it as a place to buy cheap calls for a, or a bounce back up, all right? So kind of use them as both ways. See what the market's giving you, like this big wick down. When we get close to the open range low, could give you the impression that, hey, there's buyers who you know, still believe in, in calls right here. And when we keep testing this level and then finally going up, you could enter calls here. You could enter calls once it regains the opening range high um, and still make that move up there. And then look, 
retest, retest, retest every time off the opening range high, it protects it. So these levels are great to use throughout the day. I mark them every day. It doesn't just have to be a gap day, but I really like to lean on these uh, after gaps in situations where maybe a lot of the plays that I had set up the previous night were already past their call or put triggers. And I kind of felt like I was in no man's land a little bit, felt like I was chasing a little bit. I can use these opening range highs and lows as great places to enter and exit trades with my built-in risk reward and everything like that. So hopefully that helps guys. If you have any questions, just hit me up uh, either in the chat, Twitter, YouTube comments, and let me know if you'd like to hear anything else about this setup or any other ideas you'd like to hear me uh, make videos about. I appreciate it.